Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial we'll be making these um, low poly um, palm trees we have here. So they're pretty simple to model and make. Um, we just need to open up Blender and get started. So they, I use these in my beach model I did not that long ago. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so let's get started with the tutorial. So we're just going to delete the default cube and light. We'll just keep that somewhere. We'll just keep it there. And I'm just going to go to view front. I'm just going to shift A. I'm going to add a cylinder with six vertices over here. So make sure that is checked to six. I'm just going to scale it up. I'm also going to thin it out here, like so, and back into front view, we're just going to tab into edit mode and then Z into wireframe mode and we're going to hit control R and then hit 5 on our keyboard and then click and click. So now we've got these cuts on our um, shape here, we're just going to control R down here and we're just going to put it around there, another cut, and we're just going to hit S and scale it out like so. And we're going to do this all the way up. And this is making the trunk of our um, palm tree, or whatever you like to call it, coconut tree, depending where you're from. And just proceed to do this with all of them, even our top one here like so. Make sure you gradually decrease in size, like here this is quite small but the rest aren't. You may want to gradually gradually decrease in size depending how you want your tree to look and then we're just going to exit that just to check, oh it's a bit too it's a bit too fat so we're just going to thin it out a bit something like that that's better and we're just going to go back into wireframe mode and hit B, select the top and we're just going to RY and we're just going to edit like that so it's a bit lopsided and push it down a bit <coughs> just like that so there we have our trunk we're just going to simply uh, put go into cycles and just add a quick material <coughs> excuse me for that we're going to add a quick material and we're just going to call it truck and give it a moderate grey something like so let me just add a viewport colour yeah that's fine and that's all good for our trunk so now we're just going to model the leaves so pretty simple again we're just going to view the front and shift a we'll add a cube and we're going to scale this down on the z axis to make it paper thin like so and we're just going to whiz around to the right side and go into edit mode and select our face selector over here down there and select your right face and we're going to go to view front now and we're just going to lift this up and extrude pressing E on your keyboard I'm going to hit extrude and we're just going to push it in like so and we're going to go up out up down out out down out up etc and we want to end on an up like so and we want to start on down so I'm very happy with that and let's just add a quick material we can change the size after we've just added to and we'll call it leaf and we're just going to give it a green a bit more rich than that like so Okay, now let's unhide our cylinder over here, 
and we're just going to go to the view at the top and scale that down. Drag it up. Select the view top again. Okay, that's a pretty decent size, so we're going to hit Shift D to duplicate and then hit R Z to change. So Shift D to duplicate and then R Z to change. Shift D to duplicate. R Z to change. Shift D. R Z to change. Depending how many leaves you want, you can add more and less, etc. I'm just going to add something there. Okay, you can add plenty more leaves in this, but... Um, and you can also make your leaves go down when you finish with them. So I'm just going to go to view front. And as you can see, my leaves looking a bit weird. we just need to go to view front and we just need to adjust the angle so you need to make sure your um, leaves are on a down so it doesn't look weird and um, we're just going to view the front and just change our angle of our leaves like so. Make sure we have it perfectly on top, like so. And we can now edit our leaves individually. So if I go view front, I may want to edit this one and bring it up a bit, down. etc you can mix up all your leaves a bit but anyway that's the basics of making this and after you finish with all your um, editing to our leaves just select all of them and we're just going to join them together and that's our um, palm tree in blender so I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall catch you in my next video